Welcome back to another episode of Open RCT2 Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a Zamperla Disco or Disco Coaster. Now, these are great family rides that are found all over the world in two different varieties. They have the normal Disco smaller model and then the Disco Coaster, which is the larger model with the hill in the middle. And they are both very easy to build in the game. So let's get started. First, we are going to find the hybrid coaster in OpenRCT2, and we are going to build the station just one tile long. And then we're just gonna build a simple little hill, just a few units high. And then we're gonna go back down, and then we are gonna go to the large slope transition from flat to steep. And then you're gonna go vertical for one piece. And then we're gonna go all the way back to the start and do the same thing with a large flat to steep transition and one vertical piece. Build the entrance and exit, and we're all done with the layout. And now I'm going to make the entrance and exit invisible so you can see everything better. Now we are gonna to go to the operating mode and change it to powered launch passing station. And I'm gonna put it at four circuits, but you can do whatever you'd like. Oh, it's not gonna let me change the launch speed because I forgot to turn on some cheats. Make sure you have unshow all operating modes, unlock operating limits, allow arbitrary ride type changes, and show vehicles from other track types. Now I can move the launch speed up to about 27 miles per hour. And then with the trains, we want to change this to the Roto Drop train. So with the Roto Drop car, we are all set. Give it a better color scheme. And then now we can test the ride. Next, I am going to open the tile inspector and I'm going to make this piece of track with the vertical section invisible by clicking here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end. Just select that track and make it invisible. So now that looks like it should. Oops, it looks like I need to up the number of circuits again to four. And now we have our working disco coaster. Now you're gonna notice that there is a little bit of glitching when it goes over the hill here. You're gonna see just a little bit of graphical glitch. It's gonna happen right here. So if you see that, uh, this is what I like to do. You don't have to do this step, but I like to change it to the mini suspended coaster. And then I open a plugin called the Ride Editor plugin. If you don't have this, the link is in the video description. But I need to select the ride, and it's called the Mini Suspended Coaster 1. So we're going to find that in the drop down here, Mini Suspended Coaster 1. And then I'm going to select Ride Type, and then select Hybrid Coaster. And that's going to change the visuals back to the Hybrid Coaster. But now the ride vehicle is a little bit higher, so it doesn't glitch in that same way. So I think this makes it look a little bit better. You don't have to do this step, but I like it. And then the stats are not very good, but we can use the Edit Ride Vehicles plugin, which is another plugin, and you can go select the ride here, and then click Edit Ride, and then we can change the stats, but it's not gonna let us do it because we need to click Freeze Rating Calculation, and I'm gonna update the modifier to 100, and now we can set it to whatever we'd like. So I'm gonna give it some nice, decent stats here, and the ride is ready to be opened. And you can even save the track design and build it in any of your parks. Now let's say you wanna build the smaller version of the disco. You're gonna do everything the same, except there's no hill in the middle. And then you're gonna give it an entrance and exit, change it to rotodrop trains, and then we are going to update the operating modes, make sure it's set to 27 miles per hour and give it, I don't know, five circuits. So we can test it. Tile inspector, we're gonna make the spikes invisible and there you go. And then if you want, you can change it to the mini suspended coaster and then change it back to hybrid in the ride editor plugin. And then you can go and update the stats with the edit ride vehicles plugin if you'd like, because the stats are not very good as a mini suspended coaster. And that is all there is to it to build the Zamperla Disco and Disco Coaster. And if you'd like to download the tracks, the link is in the video description below. You just have to make sure the cheats are turned on and you will have to update the launch speed and use the tile inspector to make the vertical pieces invisible. But as you can see, it is very easy to build yourself and either version of this ride will look great in your park. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and make sure to subscribe because next time I'm going to show you a new way to build 3D theaters with stadium seating or even build a concert arena. So stay tuned.